to believe in myself, to stand up for who I am, to say yes to any challenge, to cheer on new friends, to grow up strong. Girls on the Run is an after-school program for girls in third through eighth grade that uses training for a 5K 3.1 mile race as a backdrop for lessons about bullying, about self-esteem, about future ambitions and goal setting. Doing something like Girls on the Run gives them social skills, emotional skills, team skills, and then it gives them these habits to think about. So Girls on the Run uses this physical initiative as a backdrop to teach them that it's, life is about being who you are and who you want to be. And when you set a goal, you can meet it. Girls on the Run targets girls at a specific stage in their lives when they need this positive influence the most. The girls eight, nine, and 10 are absolute sponges. They are open to everything. It's just prime time to load up that toolbox. Girls have a very specific set of issues that we're facing now. Really young girls are starting to diet and they're wearing makeup and doing all sorts of things that, that say that they, they don't believe that who they are naturally is, is good enough. The program is really designed uh, for, for every girl and the challenges that every girl is going to face. I live with my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister. It's really fun because I know I have all these people around me that love me and I love them right back. My favorite part about my room is this. Because I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with mustaches. I became in love with running, and I had um, a couple more friends, and I talked to more people, and I got along with more people, and now I know to encourage people at whatever they're doing. This is the girls on the run medal from last year, and my dad has his hanging up in his room. 5K isn't about winning, it's just about having fun and spending time with your teammates. Nathan Hale is categorized as one of our low-income schools. We have made a commitment to ensure that at least 50% of the girls we serve are from Chicagoland's most under-resourced communities. Kaylee is a great student in school. She gets all A, she you know, always volunteers, and her teacher says she does really well in everything. When I grow up, I want to be um, a professional athlete of any kind. I, I just want to be accomplished in sports. So one lesson that Girls on the Run focuses on is effective communication. Today, girls, we're going to learn some phrases that you can use to help you stand up for yourself if you're ever in a situation like this. So I want you to repeat them after me. I feel. I feel. When you. When you. Because. Because. I would like for you. I would like for you. Girls at this age often witness peers, they often witness adults, just freak out in a situation or yell or scream or fight or bully. Girls on the Run gives them a way to structure their thoughts, to convey what they're thinking in an effective manner. I feel discouraged when you are mean to me because I feel like I can't do anything. If you want to say something mean, don't say it to other people because it's like you're gossiping, so keep it in your like mind. I feel mad and sad when you tell secrets about my friend because she, she is getting really mad and she doesn't want to come to school anymore. I would like for you to please stop. The curriculum, the magic of it is that combination of physical activity and conversation and that the conversation is really driven by the girls themselves and their answers. The coaches might have a question, but the way they react to it and what happens at each session is, is individual to that group and those girls.
sister is me and my mom doing what we do. My relationship with my mom is, I can tell, I feel like I can tell her anything, like she'll keep my secrets. Like she's kind of like my best friend, but still my mom. Well, this is my room, it's kind of messy, but I like my closet because it's big and it has all my clothes. I have my piggy bank right here that keeps all my money. My mom took some money out, that's why she placed it backward. I just love being active, and also I just needed to get all this energy out of me because it's like about to explode. I'm so excited for Saturday. I'm ready. At the end of the day, my family unit is my daughter. She's the love of my life, and it's just so important. I was raised in an environment, my dad always said, you have to have an environment that's conducive to learning. So what was the experience about what you learned? We learned like all the parts of the roots and plants and how they have a great job at the making a plant what it is. That's very true. So what, what's the job of a plant? What does it provide for us? Oh. Oxygen, like trees. It's very important for me to get good grades because you can't be like dumb and pretty at the same time. It just doesn't go. When I grow up, I want to be a pediatrician. Community Academy is in the Kenwood neighborhood of Chicago on the south side of the city. They are categorized as one of our low-income schools. Earlier, Kennedy had mentioned gossiping. So gossiping is definitely a negative thing. Why don't we want to gossip? Why? Oh, um, because if you start gossiping, then if somebody gossips about you, you wouldn't like it. Right. And gossiping kind of gets with you around, so some of it's really not true. Girls my age do gossip, like, like they just gossip about, about these little things. Like they just want to like start a fight, like just with some pity things. We know that gossiping is bullying. What else do we know about bullying? Um, bullying is when you're like harassing someone. You're harassing someone, like how? Like saying that you're ugly and trying to take their lunch money. And Girls on the Run, we had this tube of toothpaste, right? We talked about when the toothpaste is squished out, you can't put it back. Like when you spread the gossip around to everybody, you can't put that back because the person is still going to feel bad inside. So raise your hand if you have either been bullied or you've actually seen it happen, OK? Because I know I have. How do we get people to treat us the way we want them to treat us? When somebody gives you a compliment, it, it, it just makes you want to give somebody else a compliment and keep the streak going on. Like, when my parents say, don't like mess with them so they can stop messing with you and they, they know they want to mess with you because they can get to you easily. Like, walk away from the problem so it won't get, like, messy. Girls on Run just represents so much of team building skills for young girls. This is from every background, from every race, from every socioeconomic standard. I want to piggyback off what Jasmine said. Um, like, you should be a leader and not a follower. I want to snowball of what Kennedy said. And I want to say, always our teacher says, um, when you mess with somebody back, like, you poking, you're poking a fire. If we talk about idealistically what we want our, our children to be like, exactly that, all come together towards one common goal. Awesome, you guys did a lot of really good thinking and I think we're ready to face any bully that comes our way. In my family I have a dad who's always away, a mom who stays at home and drops me off at school and things, and then I have a sister named Katie and we play together a lot. Then I have a dog named Klondike and he's very cute. I think the reason that Girls on the Run is so well suited for girls of this age is because they are just really starting to get to know who they are and what their um, role is with other friends. 
and they can just for once start to see how some of the dynamics are between um, friends and groups and teams and all things that are going on with them in school starting in this grade. So um, this is an open area where I usually do handstands and stuff. This is my dresser. Then over here is my desk and it has a hanging folder door and this thing. When I grow up, I would like to be a gymnast. When I'm doing gymnastics, I feel really good, like I'm flexible, and I feel proud of myself that I can do all the things I can do. I'm looking at myself a different way. I used to think I was fat and also mean because some of my friends said that. And then Girls on the Run made me more fit, and it taught me lots of ways that I could look at myself and improve. Hubbard Woods is located in Winnetka, Illinois. That is a suburb on our North Shore. A high income school would pay $165 per girl. A middle income school would pay $82.50. And a low income school where more than half of the students receive free or reduced lunch would pay $25 per girl. I'm gonna talk about something that, oh, it's the worst, it's the pits, it's bullying, okay? And we're gonna talk about that today in part of our lesson, but one thing I want you to think about is, can anybody even define what bullying is? It's kind of make, like, for the person who's getting bullied, it's making them feel bad and like uncomfortable. Why do you think anyone ever bullies someone? Why would they do that? They were making themselves feel better because somebody did something mean to them. Hurting people makes them feel better, which people shouldn't be doing that because, you know, you, other people should be comforting you because that's what nice people do. Okay. People think it makes them like more popular, but it really doesn't. It's almost like they're shooting fire at me, but I really don't want to get fire back on them because that just doesn't make me feel good at all. So I want to put water on it to make it all good again. Oh, wow, that's so powerful that a child that's not even 10 years old will be able to put something like that into words about how she feels when being bullied. But has anybody here ever been bullied? Charlotte. Oh, well, there's this girl, and she would always say mean things to me, and she would actually hurt me and like trip me in the hallways and oh. things like that. I felt like I didn't matter to anybody when she did that, so. When you find out that your child has been bullied, it's so painful because you think whatever happened to them was hurtful and painful. They didn't know how to deal with it and they're nervous about facing it again. It chipped away at their self-esteem. It's, it's painful on a lot of fronts. Uh, she just suddenly started calling me ugly and fat and, um, and she, she told me, to make you more like better and like not fat or anything. Just do what I say and you have to do what I say. And I'm, I just was too scared to like tell her anything. Like if someone's bullying you, they're kind of shouting out you, I want to be bullied. Well, you know what, Amelia? I think I would change that from I want to be bullied to maybe sometimes I want attention and I think they don't know the right way to get the right kind of attention. So I think I would just change your words a little bit. So they're probably shouting out in their like mind, I want attention. The experience of being a coach for Girls on the Run has been more rewarding for me than I'm sure anything the girls took away. I was very surprised how open the girls were about their life experiences and how willing they were to share some of the troubles that they've encountered and obstacles in their life and it was just so rewarding to be able to kind of give them some guidance and help in how to push through that. It's taught me that bullying is wrong and that I shouldn't do it and you get nothing out of it and being nice is way better. You can be whoever you want to be. Don't let people push you around. Be strong, be responsible, and nice. When Charlotte crosses the finish line on Saturday, I think she will see that she 
set a goal and she achieved a goal and I know that she will feel a sense of accomplishment that um, will really probably help her face other things that she might think, oh, I don't know if I can do that. So it'll, it'll be a lasting impression. The day of the race was one I will never forget. That is definitely one of the major milestones in my life. Girls on the Run is a life-changing after-school program that uniquely combines life skills lessons with training for a 5K event. If anyone ever asks me what my favorite day at Girls on the Run is, it's always race day. The atmosphere on 5K Day is something that you will experience nowhere else. It's not your typical race. On Even on course, we provide entertainment. So we have a band on the course, and we have a bubble machine on the course. So the girls are gonna run through a sea of bubbles. We wanna make it a day that they'll never forget. I think the most fun part of the race is the beginning because before you do it, you stretch a lot and lots of girls give you encouragement words. So I think it's the best part because you're looking forward to completing something big. It feels really cool to be here right now because there's a lot of girls here and you know that everyone's gonna be doing this, so it's gonna be really fun. Girls on the Run has taught me how to accomplish a goal because they teach you about like running and accomplishing the 5K and getting good at what, and just setting your mind to something and then getting good at it. The best thing about race day is just running and being with my friends. All of our 6,400 girls are asked to invite a running buddy to come and complete the 5K with them. So automatically our numbers have doubled. My running buddy on race day is my dad. Running with my dad is really fun because knowing that I'm really close to him and he's a runner, he can always um, encourage me and give me tips on how to run better. I'm excited to do this with my dad because he's mostly away and I don't get to do things with him. So For me it's kind of hard because I'm not that good of a runner when I run and so usually I just think positive thoughts or daydream while I'm running and then it helps me actually go faster. All those times when people bully me, it's like when I run, they all those name callings just go away. I saw the finish line, I just wanted to keep going faster so I can finish it and it felt really good because knowing that you just finished like three miles felt really good. Couldn't be prouder, couldn't be prouder, she did a great job. I think crossing the finish line feels really good because you know you've accomplished something big and you feel good about yourself that you've done it. So, and after you know that you can just drink a bunch of water and relax. Rock and roll! <laughs> as soon as I crossed that finish line, all those things we've been taught in Girls in a Run just like, just stopped at that finish line, like, just passed us, we did it. Good job, high five. Good job. We're running together and the energy is up, so I'm so proud of her. I don't know what else to say. I'm amazed, I'm proud. Day of a 5k race. You see those girls faces when they cross the line. You see them hug their parents and get their medal and you see the sweat dripping down their face and it's just this is what it's what life's all about. Charlotte you a fantastic, fantastic job. Congratulations Thanks. Charlotte. You did it. I kept the pace and I set goals when I was running. I feel awesome. The race was
Our goal is that the community will continue to support us, continue to spread the word about Girls on the Run, and continue to rally behind this movement that is just creating future successful leaders and changing the way girls interact with each other, changing the way they grow up so that they can experience less bullying, less gossiping, and focus on being good friends to each other and helping each other accomplish their goals and set ambitions for the future. Aetna, as a corporation, recently came on board in a very big way. We are really trying to uh, address the population at an age that they will grow up for, uh, from then and become really healthier citizens and will enrich the communities they live in. If we grow at 25% only for the next 10 years, we will be serving over 50,000 girls a year. We'll be in every school in Chicago. Our race will be bigger than the Chicago Marathon, which is kind of the gold standard of events here in the city. Um, it's going to be a day where literally the streets of Chicago will be filled with girls. I get a little emotional about it, just realizing how special they are and that they can do anything. Because if they can do this, something they did not think they could do just 12 weeks ago, what can they do with their lives? I have the power to believe in myself. To stand, stand up, up for who I am. am. To say, say yes, yes to a challenge. challenge. To cheer on new friends. To grow up strong. strong. A fully all-girl camera crew. Tell me that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen.